A vehicle loaded with gas exploded and set off an inferno that burned homes and warehouses in Kenya's capital, killing at least three people and injuring more than 270, with the death toll expected to rise, many residents were likely inside their homes when the fire reached their houses late in the night in the Mrati area of the Nairobi neighborhood of Mbakasi, government spokesman Isaac Morris said. The fire that followed then engulfed a nearby textile and garment warehouse, while damaging. Several vehicles and commercial and residential properties, he said Amwara said the scene of the incident has been secured and a command center set up to help with rescue efforts. At the scene after daybreak, several houses and shops were burned out. The shell of the vehicle believed to have started the explosion was lying on its side. The roof of a four-story residential building about 200 meters from the scene of the explosion was broken by a flying gas cylinder. Electric wires lay on the ground. Nothing remained in the burned-out warehouse except the shells of several trucks. Alfred Juma, an aspiring politician, said he heard loud noise from a gas cylinder in a warehouse next to his house. I started waking up neighbors asking them to leave, Juma said. He said he warned a black car not to drive through the area, but the driver insisted and his vehicle stalled because of the fumes. He attempted to start the car three times and that's when there was an explosion and the fire spread into the warehouse setting off other explosions. Oh my God! That's terrible! Yeah!